The song is a special one to me precisely because of its message of empowerment. In our modern era, we use this word. This word has sort of emerged recently in recent times to describe uh, the sense of power people get from being known, being understood, uh, or rather um, saying, I know what people are saying about me and I choose. I choose to acknowledge that they're saying it and choose to let it sort of wash off of me, to not let it bother me. Um, so empowerment sort of reflects the word, the, our modern use of the word empowerment sort of reflects this, this awareness that you can't please everyone. You can't accommodate every single worldview or perspective or way of thinking and get by sort of unscathed with, with poor relationships or anger between friends. You can't avoid it. You will always, if you take a hard stance on one thing, you will irritate another group. Is this ideal? No. It's the way of the world, though. We've come up with this term empowerment to say, I, despite what other people are going to say about me, I'm happy with who I am. I've worked on this. Also, there are parts of me that I can't change. There are parts of my life that I, there's nothing I can do about it. And to come to accept those, those parts of you that make you different from other people. They're not to be gotten rid of. They're not to be done away with because you're different. Rather, they're to be what's called honed. They're sort of to be pushed in a particular direction. You take those parts of yourself that make you special, that make you unique, and you develop them so that they become presentable and beneficial to the world around you. So our invitation, again, the Catholic invitation isn't to... It's never been to give away who you are as a person. As we said at the beginning, it's about understanding who you are. Learning gradually over time who you are and who God made you to be. You are a product of your environment, of your genetics. But you can be so much more than that. You've been given what this is what you have. What you do with it is, to some extent, your decision. How are you going to live? And how these people live in this clip, what do we see? We see this group of people that has been completely outcast from society. You might relevantly think, the way we live as Catholic is, is kind of strange. No one else lives like this. None of my friends who aren't Catholic live like this. None of them go to Mass. None of them kneel on the ground. What is that? Why do we do it? No one lives the way I do. And right now, I'm in high school, and I'm trying to choose Catholicism for myself. Either this year or in a few years, I'm planning to get confirmed in the Catholic faith. And that's scary to me. I don't know if I want this. I don't know how I'm going to interact with other people in the world. Because I'm Catholic, and I don't know what they'll think. Will I have to keep this part of my life completely hidden from all my friends? Will I have to just... Have it be here? Is it even for me? Is it for my parents? I don't know what your reasons are for wanting to get confirmed when you are an 11th grader. But I want you to watch this video, or the reason this video is here, rather, is because the message is so important for us as Catholics. So you are made the way you're made for a reason. Our Lord loves you the way you are and wants you to take the gifts he's, been give, he's given you and to disseminate them to the whole world, to give them away rather than sweeping them under the rug, hiding them, changing who you are until you're unrecognizable. Be yourself. That is Christ's invitation. And when you, as a Catholic, encounter these people who don't understand, who have made up in their mind already what the Catholic Church is, that it's a bunch of rules, that it makes you live a way that is uncomfortable, when you encounter these people, Encounter them with grace, but internally, and when you are with your community of friends who are Catholics, when you are with your church community on a Sunday, band together, mentally at least, but take joy in these relationships with people who also understand. Who also understand that living the Catholic life can be difficult, but it is also the most life-giving way to live. That's why the church has spent several thousand years drafting a catechism that 
basically tells you the right way to live. It's not about the rules. The church wants you to be happy. The church wants you to be yourself. We're going to watch one more video. Returning to the musical Dear Evan Hansen. It comes halfway through the show. And if nothing else, it is a resounding message of this notion. It's a song of hope for people like Evan Hansen who were cast out, who didn't feel like they connected with their friends. They didn't feel that connection. He has arrived at a community and they accept each other and they sing this song about being found. And I want you in your mind as you're watching this, picture our Lord on the beach, going, seeing the fishermen, seeing them and calling them to follow him, knowing who they are and asking them to come. Come with me. He finds them. He finds us. He finds you and me. And he invites us to follow him as well. Please enjoy. You will be found. 